it's Kayla from Kayla Crochet Love and welcome to episode 43. If you are new to my channel, welcome. It's lovely to see you stopping by and coming to see what I have to offer. And if you are returning, of course, it's always lovely to have you stop by and visit with me. Um, it's been, I think it's been almost three weeks again. Um, I thought I was going to do better and <laughs> get back to my bi-weekly schedule, but I think it's been three weeks, but, um, like I said last time, just kind of going through some stuff and, um, yeah, just life, you know, um, I'm feeling better. Last time I was kind of down in the dumps and just not feeling great. I've been feeling a little better lately, so I have been doing some, <clears throat> some crocheting and stuff, so that's good. Not too much, but. A little bit and yeah so things are still crazy <laughs> um, but yeah we'll just get right into the yarny stuff I have a couple finished objects and yes yeah, so we'll start with that um, so the first thing I'll talk about is what I'm wearing so normally I wouldn't be wearing this shirt but my other shirt I would wear with it is dirty um, so I am wearing um, I talked about this last time. This is one of my works in progress. So the top of this is made differently than the pattern. Um, so I'll show you a picture of the pattern. <clears throat> it's the Lace Trapeze Tunic by Tammy Hildebrand. So this is it. It is a paid for pattern. And I'll link it down below, of course. So I did the top differently. So the top has all this lace and stuff. Um, I was getting tired of working on this, so I just did my own thing. <laughs> I just did double crochets, and yeah. <clears throat> I like the way it came out. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's uh, getting all plugged up apparently. So anyways, um, for this one I used Lime Brand Mandela in the colorway Pegasus. There's 590 yards, and I only used one, I believe. Yeah, I only used one cake, so that's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> it's a DK weight, and it's 100% acrylic. So I will show you. I will kind of pop up on my chair, and I will have to stand up. So from here up, I did my own thing. I made the sleeves wider. I kind of wish I had made them a little more narrow, but I don't mind this at all. And then it gets into the lacy bit down here. And I really like it. And I did block it too. This was my first time steam blocking. It just does the same thing in the back. And there's a little bit of peach at the bottom. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. And uh, it's comfy, and it <clears throat> it did challenge me. I haven't really done much lace work, really. So this was definitely something I had to think about more until I did the top. Then I just that, I think that's why I did the top. I didn't want to have to think anymore, <laughs> really. So I just went ahead and did my own thing. And I like it so the the pattern was good I didn't have any issues with the pattern that I can remember it was just my brain <laughs> probably should have picked a more simple pattern to work on going like when I was going through my little rough patch there but anyways I love it um, this is the first time I really wear it I did take pictures which probably will be at the beginning of the video in my little intro thing um, but yeah I really like it if you follow me on Instagram you would have already seen it Instagram or Facebook you would have seen it but yeah I'm happy with it I love the color the yarn I didn't have any issues with the yarn I think I came across one knot um, I only color controlled a little bit and that was mostly at the top and at the bottom with this lace section uh, but other than that, I just let it go. And yeah, I'm really happy with it. I'll show you one more time. Oop. So yeah, 
it kind of flares out at the bottom, but I kind of like that, especially because I have bigger hips. This part's like my favorite. <laughs> so yeah, very happy with that. And I'm glad that I'm done with it. <laughs> and my craft room is a disaster right now. I need to get in here and clean it, but I haven't had time. So my next finished object is something that I hadn't even started last time. Um, I was last time I podcasted. I don't think I had started it at all. No, because I had to go get yarn for it because I didn't have the right yarn. <laughs> Although, now that I've finished it, I probably would have had the right yarn. But I didn't know how much yardage I needed. So, this is actually a Tunisian crochet project. And this is the first Tunisian crochet project I make using a pattern. So, it was definitely a learning curve. But I highly recommend this pattern. Um, I believe it's a free pattern. I don't believe I paid anything for it. Um, and it's the Irene shawl. And guys, I got a new printer so I can print patterns again. So I'm excited. It's in black and white, but... So this is the Irene shawl. I have it in this little book thing my mom got me where it has the plastic sleeves. And I like these because then you can mark off your pattern with a dry erase and you're not ruining the actual pattern. So this is the Irene shawl. And yeah, it's pretty simple. I didn't really know how much yardage I needed. Um, it does show yardage in here, but I think I misunderstood the yardage. So I bought way too much of the yarn. Um, so this is also one of my acquisitions. So I'll just share it with you. Um, I used James C. James C. Brett Misty DK. So it's this pretty, like, pink. I don't think it has a name. I think it's just the color number. I don't see a, a color. It just says shade number R8. But it's this pretty pink, and it has little flecks in it. I don't know if you can see them. But they're just really subtle flecks in it. And it's 100% acrylic and, well, sorry. 94% premium acrylic, 6% viscose, which I believe is, believe is the little flex in it. And there's 305 yards. So I bought four because I didn't know how much I need. And now that I'm reading it, it sounds like you don't need more than 500 yards. And I only used, I used a full one. And I used this much of the second one. So probably just under 500 yards I would say I used. So I like this yarn though. It's really really nice for an acrylic. Um, oh and I guess I can show you my shawl. So I finished this last night and this is my first time doing Tunisian crochet like this. And I think I need to block it a little better. I did block it, but the end is still kind of rolling up on itself. And mine didn't turn out as big as the pattern as um, this one did. Sorry. It's by Timber and Threads. I will link to the pattern down below. She also has an Instagram. Um, and I just started following her too. And she does some amazing Tunisian crochet designs. Um, most of them are paid though, I believe. But, I mean, if you see these designs, you uh, it's worth paying for. <laughs> so anyways, this is my Irene shawl. So yeah, it blocked out a little bit smaller um, than hers. I think mine blocked to like 50 something inches long by like almost 30 inches wide but it's still it's a good size I'm trying to get the whole thing in without blocking my face but so this is it and it's still a good size 
but I really like the lacy detail on the bottom and it's a good size to wear like this which is how I wear all my shawls really but I did play around with it and you could I could wear it as like a wrap but this is how I wear my shawls try and bump up my chair a bit doesn't help I'm wearing this underneath but yeah I really like it the patterns really easy to follow um, I did have issues with the lace but that was not the pattern that was just me <laughs> that was just me ha not reading it properly and adding stitches and so had to do some fudging but honestly for a first time I think it turned out pretty good and I really like it I'm really happy with it um, so yeah it's I'll just get up close so you can see it and the lace down here you definitely have to block it to get the lacy the lace look and honestly I still could have probably blocked it more but I'm not used to seam blocking so but I'm really happy with it and this yarns really nice for an acrylic it's soft and fuzzy <laughs> so oops but yeah, definitely if you haven't done anything like this in Tunisian crochet, this is a good pattern to start with, honestly. Um, maybe an advanced beginner Tunisian crochet pattern, but I had no issues, well, other than my own brain farts. <laughs> so yeah. So that's my two finished objects. And... That's it for yarn related finished projects. Um, I did do a little bit of sewing. So last time I think I was talking about the fact that I was sewing masks. Um, I'm pretty much done with that. I do have more fabric and I'm sure I'll probably, more fabric and elastic, I'm sure I'll probably end up making more down the road. Um, but I'm done with that for now. Um, the one night I just felt inspired, so I made a little drawstring bag. <laughs> just a simple little bag. I didn't use a pattern. <laughs> I don't use, I haven't used a pattern really for anything I've sewed recently. So it's just cupcakes. And then the inside is polka dots. And it just has a little drawstring, and it's like a rainbow drawstring. So I had fun making that. Just a little sack kind of thing. And then I felt like sewing another bag, and I, <laughs> I had every intention of making this one a box bottom, but I kind of gapped on <laughs> how I did the corners and I sewed them the wrong way so to do a box bottom you have to like um, I'm gonna take these out or take this out so I can explain it a bit better um, you have to kind of open it this way and sew your corners this way so that way it, it's a box bottom I can't really explain it so if it's open this way, you got to fold it this way to sew it. Well, I folded it this way and sewed it this way. So it is definitely not box bottom. Um, it is definitely misshapen, but that's okay because it was a prototype. <laughs> and it's just going to be a goofy little project bag for me. And I just like the fabric. so. You can see even the corners are kind of off, but whatever. So this is just like Day of the Dead fabric. I made a couple masks with this fabric too. And then the inside is just this plain color. And I found the, the this like 
rope, this satin rope stuff at the Dollarama. So it does still close. It's just not box bottom. It's just an interesting shape. <laughs> but you know what? It still works as a bag and I will use it. Um, I'll probably put my next project in it actually and I just really like the fabric. And I have more so I will try and make a boxed bottom bag at some point. But it was just for fun. So I made a couple bags. And uh, yeah, that's it for finished objects. I'm sorry if I'm talking fast. It is Wednesday at, what time is it? Almost quarter after 8 p.m. and I worked all day. So I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> a little bit overtired maybe. But I'm here. This probably won't get posted till Thursday, <laughs> but I wanted to record it tonight because I think I have a busy day tomorrow. So yeah, um, I showed you my one acquisition, which was the James C. Brett yarn. And then I have one more. And <laughs> the other night, my husband has been doing our groceries. I'm just... I'm starting to get more and more comfortable in stores, but he just tends to go do our groceries while I work on the weekend. So the he ended up going on Sunday night, I think it was, Sunday or Saturday night. I think it might have been Saturday night. Anyways, it doesn't matter. And I told him to get me a surprise because I was having... A rough day and I said get me a surprise so I thought he was gonna come home with like a chocolate bar or something <laughs> um, but he came home with two of these one of them's kind of crinkled because I put it in a project bag that was way too small so he came home with these and if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen these too and it is Red Heart Roll With It Tweed, which I don't think I've ever used this yarn before. I've used the Roll With It Sparkle, I think it is. Um, so this is a worsted weight yarn. The color is Popular Pink. And there's 296 yards per cake. And the reason he got this color is because it's our wedding colors. So our wedding colors were pink and gray, so more of the light pink around the edge here. It's kind of showing up darker on camera, but it is very much our wedding colors, so he picked these, which I thought was really sweet, and I wasn't expecting it at all. <laughs> So now I have to make something special with it. He said I should make us each matching hats. Just because we'll go walking um, around our neighborhood. So it would be fun to have matching hats. Even if they are pink. He doesn't care. Um, but yeah. I'm really happy with that. Of course it's yarn. I would be happy with it. <laughs> um, but I think that's it. Actually, I just thought of something else I want to share with you guys that is really awesome and I have to go get it because I forgot it upstairs. So just one second, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I really wanted to share this with you guys because I thought you guys would appreciate it. I have to apologize because there's probably cat and dog hair on it. Um, so this is something my mom made for me and... I know she sometimes watches this, so mom, I'm going to be like showing off your stuff. <laughs> uh, my mom is very talented. A lot of my family members are talented um, in many different things. My mom knits. She just started crocheting again and she is a crazy sewer. She probably wouldn't say she is, but I think she is. <laughs> um, so she recently got into making bags, but not like boxed bottom project bags like I make, or attempt to make, but purses. So one thing 
I don't know if you guys know about me is I love cupcakes. As you can tell by my project bag, I just like cupcakes. I like eating cupcakes. I like making cupcakes. I like the looks of cupcakes. So my mom made me a cupcake purse. <laughs> Isn't that so awesome? I love it. And honestly, it looks like something you would buy in a store. So I'll just put it up closer. So it has this little part here, and then you open it, and it's just this, like, pink. It has a pocket here. And it's nice and big. So this is the first purse she's made. And I really love it. But she didn't just make me the purse. She also made me a makeup bag with a zipper and it's nice and big in there too. So a nice little makeup bag. And she made me this. So it's like a little bag with a long strap. There's a pocket on the front for your cell phone, which my cell phone does fit in. And the zipper's really cool. It's like rainbow. You can't really see it on there. And you open it, and not only is it a little bag, but it's a wallet. So there's room for like money, some cards, and then change. You can kind of see the rainbowiness on here. I feel like the words I'm saying aren't making sense. <laughs> but yeah, isn't that awesome? And it all matches. So this I think would be great um, for when my husband and I go for walks. I don't want to bring my whole purse, but being diabetic, I have to carry um, diabetes things my glucometer and stuff in case my blood sugar goes low. So I think this would be great for that. And I can easily take the handle off if I just want to use it as a wallet. So I thought that was pretty darn cool. And yeah, I'm so happy with it. Um, so yeah, just had to brag about what my mom can do because I think it's awesome. And I can't wait to see what other kind of stuff she makes because she said she's trying all kinds of things. Making bags and stuff. So that's pretty cool. So... <laughs> Anyways, that's all I wanted to show you. Um, yeah, I don't have any whips on the go at all. I finished my Irene shawl last night and blocked it and I have nothing else on the go. I don't know what I want to work on. I have a couple patterns that I've saved recently, but I don't know what I really want to work on. So I might just need to check on the computer and see if anything comes to mind. Play my yarn room for yarn inspiration, but I don't know. So. Yeah, I'm looking around just to see if anything comes to mind, but no. So anyways, um, hopefully I will be back in two weeks, if not sometime. <laughs> and anyways, I hope everyone's staying safe. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.